my lovelies and welcome back to my channel so today i have yet another lounge fly haul for you guys this obsession is getting a little bit out of hand <laughs> and i may have set my eyes on a few more backpacks oh my gosh i can't <laughs> don't even get me started but i do have three backpacks to share with you guys today so if you guys are interested, then just keep on watching. But before we begin, let me remind you that subscribing is 100% free. So please click that subscribe button. And while you're at it, to go ahead and click that notification bell so that you're notified every time that I post. I post every single week, sometimes even multiple times a week. So trust me, you don't want to miss out. All right. So um, all of these bags I got from Mad Bagger, which is the small shop that I pretty much always buy from. I did also buy some bags through 707. I think I do have some discount codes for both. Or maybe just mad bagger i don't know either way all that information will be up here as well as in the description box so if you want to save some cash um use those discount codes but anyways i do have like i said three bags to share with you guys the first one i pretty much always share the bag that matches my ears and uh, so i thought i would share this guy first it is this gaston Loungefly backpack. I'm not a huge Gaston fan. He's not my favorite villain or anything like that But when I saw this backpack, I was like, oh my gosh, I need it and I'm trying to get um, a Loungefly backpack for every Disney villain and for every Disney princess um, So I was like why not start off with Gaston especially since this backpack has something special it has this little mirror the magic mirror that he's holding and when you turn it side to side you see the beast and you see Belle, which I thought was so just genius, like uh, absolutely genius. And just so, oh my gosh, I just, I love that. Whoever came up with this idea is a genius. Well done, well done. And um, that little magic mirror, that's actually the front um, zip pocket. And oh, it still has the stuffing in there. And then when you pull it down, his chin continues down. Like, look how perfect. Oh my gosh. And on the other side, you have Gaston and those other, like, you know, the pretty girls that are singing and pretty much, like, drooling all over him. Um, that's the pattern on this side. And then, um, so his hair sticks up, like, two inches above the actual backpack. And let's see. The side pockets are there. Um, this one actually has the plaque for Disney Lounge Fly and still has the little protective cover. Oh my gosh. That was so satisfying. I love doing that. Um, so this is the plaque and we have two side pockets, like I said. Let's take a look at the back real quick. The straps themselves are brown and then on the back it says biceps to spare. And we have this yellow and red striping on this uh like on the zipper part of the backpack and we have gold zippers and and this is like a different kind of gold i've never seen this kind of gold on any of the lounge fly backpacks it's like a very orange gold bronzy gold almost and when we open it let's see what the pattern is oh it's the same pattern as the little backpack so um, it's just that yellow pattern with Gaston and those girls. Um, this backpack is epic. I just, I love it. This is like the coolest backpack. Super, super cool. I don't even know. This, this may be my favorite backpack out of the three. I don't know yet. I don't know. You'll see. Anyways, but this is backpack number Let's one. Let's move on to backpack number two. Um, I have mentioned that my favorite og princess movie is cinderella and so i got a lounge fly for that and then i did also mention that my favorite newer princess movie is rapunzel or tangled so i of course had to get a backpack for that as well and here it is <laughs> and it's cool because i got the cinderella um castle and i got rapunzel's castle and this is my favorite scene in the tangled movie like the lantern scene oh my gosh don't even get me started. This is what they depicted on the backpack, which I love. I wasn't sh too sure about this like teal color, but I do actually kind of like it. I did wish it was like a dark, like midnight purple blue color, but you know what? I don't have any backpack this color, so it's fine. But <sighs> look at them. Look how cute. I love this style of 
art whoever like drew this drew it very well um i just i love the like how they drew the characters they just look so cute and this is exactly how my cinderella backpack looks like i'll link that video down below as well as uh, up here somewhere so you can check that out so you can see the comparison but <laughs> I just thought it was so cute oh my gosh they look so adorable and this um, castle is actually like stitched on top of the backpack so it kind of juts out a little bit and it kind of pokes out uh, on the top as well and we have Eugene and Rapunzel um, hiding the front pocket so right behind there is the front pocket let's see what it looks like it's not very deep but i mean it's a, it's a little front zip pocket which is really nice just to keep your little you know like hand sanitizer or whatever in and we have them in the boat the beautiful lanterns and on the side we have my siblings love this guy okay and, and so do i honestly i do he just he makes the movie extra special um i don't even know his name i don't know his name but the little the little drunk guy <laughs> he's so adorable and super funny and they of course had to include him on this backpack to make it extra special and then on the other side uh, and uh, by the way this does have pockets side pockets and on the other side pocket we have the plaque um the disney lounge fly plaque and let's look at the back real quick um oh my gosh it says it glows in the dark <gasps> you guys oh my gosh this glows in the dark how cool is that? I didn't even know that. <laughs> wow. Okay. Now I definitely don't know which is my favorite backpack because I love stuff like that when it glows in the dark and stuff. But uh, anyways, this is what the back looks like. It's, you know, at the end when they get a group hug in. The only thing though is in the movie, if you've seen the movie, um, she is a brunette when they hug her. But here she's blonde. So I don't know. I don't know why they did that, but still very, very cute. And now let's open it up and let's see what the inner lining looks like. Oh, the inner lining is just a bunch of lanterns. That's really cute. So, oh my gosh, I thought this was adorable. And like I said, I'm trying to get a backpack for every princess. So I thought this was perfect for Rapunzel. So this is backpack number two. And finally on to backpack number three. This was an unexpected purchase, but it was on sale. <laughs> and I wanted free shipping, so. <laughs> but also, uh, growing up, I had the biggest crush on Peter Pan. I don't even think I've seen the full movie yet. Like, I, I think I've seen bits and pieces of Peter Pan, but I don't think I've seen the full movie. Interesting. Anyways, I decided to get this guy. Oh my goodness. Um, I thought I would like this backpack the least, but I don't know. When I saw it, I couldn't take my eyes off of it. It's just so beautiful i there's something about this like clock tower and like the magic of them just flying right over top and this 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 is too cool like you can actually move the hands of the clock i love stuff like that like i said like i love extra special things like that i don't i don't know i i think i always want something special to a backpack you know if it's not like sequin then it needs to have something like this you know something special show you up close on the side we have pockets and on the other side we have the plaque and this little clock face is actually the front pocket which zips open and then oh my gosh we have the oh my god uh, i don't remember the dog's name but the dog is the zipper how cute i love when they make the um zippers really extra special i love that and let's see we have the clock tower like kind of coming off of the backpack as you can see and let's take a look at the back of the backpack so we have the straps and then it says just a little bit of pixie dust and we have tinkerbell right above it oh my gosh and um let me tell you <laughs> funny story uh i like i said i don't think i saw the whole movie of peter pan growing up but i do remember seeing the part where all you need is just a little bit of pixie dust or you know you know the line um faith trust and pixie dust right and uh, as a kid, I thought pixie dust was something you can actually buy. And I was like, oh my gosh, where do I get pixie dust so I can fly? I literally thought this was like a real thing. Mind you, I was a little kid. Not too little, but little. But yeah, random little story time. <laughs> thought I could fly. But uh, yeah, I don't know. 
Let me know if there's if they ever end up selling pixie dust on Amazon or something. Anyways, let's take a look at the inside of the backpack. Um, so this is what we have for the inner lining. We have the whole crew flying over the town in the night sky. And then we have the gold hardware. I love this one. I just, I think it looks so gorgeous though, right? Like the details on the clock and just everything. Just, it's beautiful. Alrighty, you guys, so that was it for my little lounge fly haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Which backpack was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. But other than that, please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!